Let's learn how to make a clipping mask with text in Illustrator in this super simple tutorial. On a blank canvas, come over to the left hand side and select your type tool. Click anywhere on the canvas to activate the type tool and come up to your font size and select something a little bigger. Type out the text you would like to use for the mask. I'm going to simply use the word mask. Then highlight the text and select a font that's thick and has a lot of weight to it. So I'm going to go with Bebus New Bold. It's a good idea to keep this font as thick and large as possible and don't choose something that's thin because then you won't get good results with the mask. Select the type with the selection tool and then hold shift to make the text bigger on your screen. With your text at a big size, come over to the character panel and decrease the kerning to make the mask even more effective. You may even want to add a little bit of stroke here to really thicken up those letters. Once you're happy with your mask, right click it create outlines, then right click, ungroup it, then come over to your Pathfinder tool and unite the shape, and then finally come to Object, Compound Path, and Make. With your mask complete, now let's put this to the test. We're gonna try this with two different options. We're gonna try this with a flat rasterized image, and we're also gonna try it with vector artwork. So first off, if you're using a JPEG, a PNG, or any flat rasterized image, go to File, Place, Locate the image you'd like to use in the document and press place. Click the document onto the artboard, then right click, arrange, center back, drag the image behind until the whole mask is covering it. Highlight both the mask and the image, right click and select make clipping mask. If you want to make changes to where the image's positioning is, select the direct selection tool, locate the image and you'll see the bounding box appears and then click it. And now you can drag the image around and position it accordingly. And you can also make it bigger or smaller using the corner dots. To come out of the mask, simply select it, then go to Object, Clip a Mask, and Release. And that will release you from the mask. So that's how to use raster images, JPEGs, PNGs, and the like. I'm just gonna set this back to black so we can see it. Now let's try this with some vector artwork. So if I zoom out, you see on the right hand side here, I've got a live trace version of that image we just used. When using vector objects, this is exactly the same concept. What you need to remember though is to group all the objects together into one singular group. Right now, you can see this is separate individual objects. So I need to group these together. So make sure they're in position, use the selection tool, highlight them all, and then either Command, Control, G, or right click and group. Once the object is grouped, drag it onto the canvas. Now to make our life easier, we're going to use the selection tool, select the mask, and we're gonna bring down the opacity. Let's try 20%. This will allow us a much better idea of where to position the vector images behind the mask. Use the selection tool on your group to mess around, increase or decrease the size, and get the mask into the position that you're happy with. And then once everything is positioned, use the selection tool to highlight both, right click, and make clipping mask. And from there, you'll create your clipping mask. And like with the raster image option, we can't go in with the direct selection tool because we would be selecting individual elements of the vectors. So if you wanna make changes, simply come back out of the mask by using the selection tool, and then go into object, clipping mask, release, and then rearrange the mask from there. So there's how to make a mask with text in Illustrator. I hope you found this tutorial helpful, and if you did, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching and keep on designing.